Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today I am going to show you how to make a pretty popular filter or effect stack for your images. We'll be able to take a photo from this and turn it into something like this. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So here we are with the image as with no edits to it. I didn't do anything in the develop module. Although you could develop the photo first if you would like to, but the exposure of this image was already good in my opinion. So now we're going to add a filter. The very first filter we're gonna add is the bleach bypass. Now this is a filter I have been testing a lot. And all you have to do with this filter or the thought process with this particular filter is you want to add drama to the image. So this is where we'll increase the amount. And what you're gonna see happen is the brightest areas, they get brighter, and the darkest areas, they get darker, all right? So if you look at it before with the effect off and then with it on, you can see that it starts to really contrast the image, but it gives it like this gritty look. Now, you can pull the contrast slider further to the right as well, and that gives like a cleaner look to the image. So if that's what you're going for, then absolutely uh, manipulate the contrast in relationship to the amount. Now you can also brighten and darken the effect overall. Depending on your image, you may need to adjust this. I don't think that this photo needs that adjustment. And then you have a detail slider here as well. Now the next thing that you wanna do with the bleach bypass is remove some of the saturation. I'm gonna pull that down probably for this image to about negative 30, all right? Every image is gonna need something different. So now that I have the effect the way that I want it to look, the next thing is to bring back some of that color or to give it a color cast. We're gonna use a photo filter and I'm going to click on the color and this is where you can really just choose whatever color you want, all right? So I'm gonna choose something in this orange range right here, and I'm gonna crank up the amount quite a bit. Now this looks pretty good as is, and I probably wouldn't do too much more. However, what you wanna do with the photo filter, or at least what I recommend you do, is click on the gear icon, go to apply to, and apply this to the shadows, or the midtones, uh, or just the highlights. Now, every photo is going to render this differently. I think for this image, between the midtones and the shadows, uh, they look the best for the way that this image looks. All right. And then I'm going to select shadows. And I'm just going to pull up the range until I start to see that rich orange shine through overall. Now, obviously, probably blowing out some details in the sky, uh, but that's where you can go back to develop and really change it. So we went from a photo that looks like this, which pretty good out of camera or however this photo was edited. And now we have something a little bit more dramatic uh, and a little bit more desaturated with contrast and some punch. So hopefully you found this content helpful. If you did, smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want more content centered around All One Photo Raw and tips and tricks just like this. Until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.